Free tours of the trailer park. Bum, 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 bum. Forward now! Let's do some off-roading. Whoa! Downhill! Alright. Run, run, run. Olé! Run, run, run. You want to tour the trailer park? Yes, yeah, sure. Come on in. It's gonna be a wild one. Nice. Welcome. Kevin. David, good to meet you. Yeah. Do you know the history of the trailer park? Not really. Not really? Okay. It's got a rich history of revolution, resistance, community, and triumph. So there was a housing shortage at UC Santa Cruz in the 1980s and people started living in their cars in East Remote parking lot. And uh, eventually the UC got pissed and they, they sent a cop out. So the police got to the East Remote parking lot and were going to break it up, but then they heard the case of the people who were living there and they agreed with them. This was the police chief at the time. So the police chief went to the UC administration and said, hey, you can't kick these guys out. They don't. There's not, no space for them at UC Santa Cruz. City of Santa Cruz doesn't want to build more housing. Where are they going to go? You got to do something about this. So they built the UCSC trailer park. The trailer park was born on September 28, 1984, and has existed happily ever since then. look at the trailer park today, as you can obviously tell, it is a vibrant community. There are 42 trailer spots, um, rent ranges from $350 to $400 depending on if you have a sewer hookup. It's very low impact living. People are existing, you know, with a very small ecological footprint. I heard about the trailer park, but I've never actually been here and it was just like, it blew me away. I was just like, wow, this is like a magical place, like the, to see all these trailers and like, it was sunny and every people were hanging out outside of the trailers like on the, in the sun and it was like it was really it was like I found a place that I wanted to live like a home I was like this is where I want to be my favorite event that I planned was Kiva because um, it's just nice that everyone could relax in the hot tubs together and bond naked The thing to be stressed most is the, the community, which you can tell just from looking around. There's a community room here where people gather twice a week for potlucks. Food is very shared openly. There's kind of a love for one another and a solidarity and you know a respect that if you need something, you can go to your neighbor and they will they will provide it for you. Yo, come in, man. Come in. Right on chai. Oh, <laughs> it's like JT Oh, really? Oh, 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 I don't have a favoritist memory, actually. 
Oh, wait, yes. My birthday party last year with the keg of paps. It's a really great place to live. There's music out on the streets. We have a hammock we just put in. You know, it's sunny all the time. People are just looking beautiful when they're here, you know? They got their shirts off, got their shoes off. People are hacky sacking, you know, everyone builds their own decks. It's like there's deck building parties, there's like cooking parties. The Roman cocktail parties are like trick or treating for alcohol. You get dressed up, you run around, you knock on doors, and people get you drunk. And it's beautiful. <laughs> Yeah, I remember uh, I actually lost my virginity in the trailer park. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. Well, the more time you spend out here, the more strange things, like, and they, they really collect, like, you remember them for a long time. It's really oh, odd. Funny. Whoa. What? Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. What is that? <laughs> Holy shit. You never really know what you're going to see. I know. Trailer park is home. That's what I think about it. Unfortunately, the trailer park is in danger. As many people have heard, the Long Range Development Plan threatens to build College 11 and 12 here, which has been their intent since they put this place in. When they lay laid the foundation for the trailer park in the 80s, they consciously designed it with a large sewer line so that they could eventually destroy the park, put in Colleges 11 and 12, and they wouldn't have to relay the, the sewage and electrical foundation. Could I get all the Camper Park residents <laughs> to stand up here? Thank you. And I wanted to thank everyone who came out today, because this is an important thing, yeah. and being active in your community is just really essential. Right here we have, uh, we have about 1,500 signatures from students. Three days. Three days. Over three, three days. days that we've collected, and we can collect much more, um, that, uh, that are dedicated to preserving the Camper Park. We're seeking written confirmation that the continuation for the continuation of our community. And um, I just wanted to close with like, what does it take for the student voice to be heard? Um, what does it take for the students who this is all supposedly for to get their voice heard? Yeah. All right, thank you guys. Let's see, this is like we're all doing this petition with Mickey Mouse and uh, <laughs> whoever else on it, is it? No, no, that's fine, I believe you. All right. We just think it's a very unique and special place that should be preserved and definitely some sort of confirmation that it will be around in the future, whether you have to move it or keep it where Spend it is, it. as long as it's a definite place because it's special, it's unique, especially to the UC system or to any college campus on the planet. <coughs> we, we, want something in, we want something concrete and we want it pretty soon and we want to hear it from you guys. So what, what are you guys going to do? I mean, what are you going to do? <laughs> we're going to put it into the mix with all of the other problems we have to solve. Your voice has been heard, but we're not going to say yes tonight, or we're not going to tell you how we're going to do it tonight. Let's see, the future of the trailer park, I hope for um, just continuation of this sustainable community. I see that we'll be around. We're, this is a sustainable place. It's the only low-income housing, alternative low-income housing in all of Santa Cruz campus. And um, I, th I think we'll be around for a while. For me, the trailer park represents um, like a thriving community of more liberal-minded people. Um, it seems like like the trailer park is the last place that really reflects the beginning of UC Santa Cruz. I hope it doesn't move. I hope they don't knock it down. I hope it's here forever. <laughs> it's truly like magnificent here. And I was thinking about how they're, they're planning to grow this university. And uh, I don't know, it's sad. The fact that the university is growing, I think is just like one uh, outshoot of a common, like a very deep-rooted, pervasive uh, condition of humanity. You know, we're just like spreading out over this entire earth and uh, using it for, for our own good, like very uh, like focused on our immediate material gratification really and uh, the growing of this campus is I see it as a sort of a basic outshoot of that and so uh, when they say they're going to start building a lot more you know classrooms and dorms and buildings and stuff I'm not surprised by it um, it's kind of sad because I know they're going to be going over some of this and that is really sad 
but at the same time, it's like watching a freight train go by. There's no, uh, like, in my mind, I just feel no, like, idea that I'm going to step in front of this freight train to save, like, a deer that maybe, like, is falling on the tracks or something. It just doesn't seem realistic. I just see, like, this is a process, a process that's uh, just rolling on, and I'm just, like, a sad observer that's trying to find my partner. Really. I feel extremely privileged that I could maintain a somewhat normal life uh, going to school and being a part of society to some degree and yet being on the very edge of this like vast forest and uh, ocean it's, yeah it's a, it's a really lucky place to be at the same time it is really privileged because not everyone could live here or it just it wouldn't be like this there are amazing people that live here. This, this community attracts a certain special somebody from the UCSC community. You do have to be a student to live here, but I mean, these are like the cream of the crop. We're talking like the most vibrant people around who are wise to the fact that they can live here cheap and have a higher quality of life. There's less food miles, there's less travel to work miles, there's more um, you know, communal living. Um, you know, you can just hop on your bike and it's all downhill. You know, it's a really great place to live. Strong, your warm, strong. 
smile.